Hey guys, welcome back to another Simplify Minimalism video. Today we are talking about paper clutter and this is something I've struggled with for years. I never knew what to keep, what to get rid of, how to organize it. I just felt like there was always a bill that I needed to pay and I just didn't know where it was. So I've developed a few different ways to help me keep my house clean and clear of paper clutter and I wanted to share them with you so you can make your house so much cleaner and more organized and know exactly where all your papers are without having mountains of them. But before we get started, if you like these decluttering organizational minimalism videos be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and now let's get into it the first thing I changed that made a huge difference was to start a what I call a Monday bin but really whatever day of the week that you find you do your admin stuff that you sit down and pay your bills so like a weekend bin a Sunday bin I just happen to really like to do mine on Mondays when I sit down at my desk first thing in the morning to start work. I love going through this bin and decluttering it and handling everything that I put inside of it first thing. Of course, for this video, there only happens to be one thing in it. But as the week goes along, I'll put any bills, save the dates, information that I need to look at, Girl Scout cookie orders would go into this bin. So I have it all in one place. I know exactly where to find it. It sits right next to my work desk. And then Monday mornings, I will go through it and handle every single thing in this bin. The bin will be empty by the time I'm done. So right now I just have a greeting card from a friend in here, so I'm gonna respond to that on Monday. But if I had bills, I'll pay them off. I'll do all of those things so that the bin is empty by the time I am done. Now, if there are bills or important tax documents or things about our home, I will then put it in our home binder. So it's gonna be hard to show you this because there's a lot of personal information in here, but I've set this up so that it has everything anyone would need if something were to happen to me and Alex and they need to look for our wills, where our bank accounts are, our insurances, our life insurances, all that information lives in here. And I wanna point out that it's only a one inch binder because I keep this really pared down. I make sure that I'm not just constantly adding unnecessary things in here. I keep one bill of each of our different bills in here and I'll update it about every two to three months to a newer bill with the newer information. So if there's anything in my Monday bin that I want to put in here, I will just hole punch it and put it inside. So like this first one is our wills. I have home stuff, insurance, bills. I also have a section for memories. I went through our entire house and documented and took photos of different things that mean a lot to us as a family just in case if something happens and people are like going through our house and trying to figure out what to sell and what to keep, then they know the importance, at least to us, of the different items in our house. So lots of wedding things and like anniversary stuff and family heirlooms go in this section. And I update this, I think, probably once a year. This also includes our birth certificates, our social security cards, all of that stuff. And it's put in a place in our house that I have told my family and my closest friends where it is. So just in case they know where to find it, it has all of our banking information, anything you could possibly need. This runs the Benda household and also our businesses. So the bin I use on a weekly basis, I think the binder I use roughly on a monthly basis. And then it comes to the third thing. This is my very hairy cap hair covered bin that I call my time will tell bin. So this is where I put things that I just don't know if I'm going to need or if I want to keep catalogs for work. There's like recipe cards from HelloFresh's that we did that we really enjoyed, but I don't know where to put, I don't have a storage system for them. I don't know if I actually want to keep them. My Dungeons and Dragons book is in here because we were doing that really regularly and now we aren't. So I maybe need to find a home for it, see what's going on with that. Papers for work that are longer term projects that I'm not sure if I want to keep will go into this bin. This is a bin I check every six months. I put on my Google Calendar and in my planner six months out to check this bin, see what's in it, put things away. During that check, this bin should end up empty. 
So everything in here is just like, I'm not quite sure. This would be a really great place to put any kids are or any like flyers for sports or any of information that after six months, you'll know for certain what you need to do with it. Do you keep it? Do you get rid of it? That's what this bin is for. I keep it under my desk. So I have a place where I can just throw the papers that I'm just not sure about down there. And then I don't feel the stress of constantly wondering what I need to do with them or seeing the pile on a counter and being like, okay, I really need to go through that, but I just don't have the time right now. It's for bigger projects, bigger paperwork, things that might take more time or that time will determine whether or not I need it. So besides our tax returns that I keep in a filing cabinet in our basement because you have to save them for so many years, this is where all of my paperwork and all of my papers live. If I don't put it in the binder and it's not in my six month time will tell bin, it's in the recycling or it's getting shredded and I'm moving on from it. Because there are so many ways to find your information online and documents and things online, it's really helped to pare down the amount of paper we need to keep. I feel so much more free and clear and I never miss a bill payment. I know exactly what I'm doing and the system just really works for me. And I hope that one or all of these things will work for you to help you reduce your clutter. Let me know in the comments what you are currently doing or what you've done in the past that has really worked for you. I would love to know so I can update my system and keep improving so that I'm reducing the stress in my life to just a little pile I deal with on a weekly basis. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more minimalism, declutter, simplify your life videos because more are on their way. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.